for parenting tips, celebrity interviews, recipes, conversations with experts, DIYs, and lots more. Subscribe to Kids Talk Press now. That one fine day, I just decided that this is it. I packed my bags with whatever I had, few clothes, and I just left with my kids, uh, with younger ones still on my breastfeed, and uh, not knowing how how I will manage the finances. Career? Kya karungi? Ten years se career me kuch nahi kiya tha. There was a strong gap. Uh, and uh, self confidence to all time low tha ki main shayad kuch kar hi nahi sakti do do bacche the there was too much that was i remember since i said my son was on feed so uh, i used to feel pain in my breast <laughs> because you know they you know they they used to be so much full of feed so i i used to think oh my god my son is thinking of me and crying for me i had to leave my son and uh, you know travel i used to i used to travel from my mom's place uh take the overnight train uh come back at 4 am in delhi have my breakfast go for my class at 8 am leave at 8 pm to the railway station um take the train back and uh, you know my my mom that time was taking care of the kids so that was difficult but then i knew that i was doing whatever i was doing for the kids uh, i am very very curious to know about your journey and how did you get to being this this huge icon that you are today tell me about 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 college days school and then you know having your kids and your journey on instagram how did it all start okay so it all began instagram and social media is uh, you know is is a very later stage of my life i was a very shy and a very recluse child uh, i could say maybe because of always constantly undervaluing myself you know uh, led me to become like that uh, so slowly um, i realized that you know even in my school days they were not very hunky dory i was always a uh, uh you know sidelined and um uh, i did not have good friends i mean people would come to me for certain assignments and and uh, uh, i remember in school i was the cultural affair minister which means that you know uh, it the job encapsulated that i had to take care of all the uh, music dance uh, debate its extempos all that i was doing but you know at the same time uh, what i lost in that was a lot of uh, friendships people just didn't become friends with me for whatever reason which made me self doubt myself a lot a lot of my self worth i always thought that you know that maybe i'm just not good enough maybe you know always thinking that something is wrong within me um then uh you know uh, professionally also i met with a lot of uh, discrimination um not as a woman i would say but generally you know maybe uh, people uh, think of you if you look a certain way uh, maybe people think that you know she does not have uh, the core competency maybe <laughs> because she looks a certain way she's just a pretty face so all this i face a lot a lot and because of that you know i would want to not look good there was a time when i would not you know yeah I've, i've actually been that in that phase where i like why do i look this way why do i look nice i should look very average very normal so then in my marriage also i wasn't given the true independence or i did not see myself blooming because uh, um, uh you know a lot of it comes from a supportive partner uh so i did not see that i was not encouraged to uh, be financially independent or pursue work or further education uh so uh all the more all the more all the more i was becoming like you know uh kya bolte hai usko termite <laughs> so um slowly and uh, one day after my kids uh, you know some incident happened which finally uh, made me take that leap that either it is this way or that way that one fine day i just decided that this is it i packed my bags with whatever i had few clothes and i just left 
with my kids uh, with younger one still on my breastfeed and uh, not knowing how how i will manage the finances career kya karungi 10 saal se career mein kuch nahi kiya tha there was a strong gap uh, and uh, self confidence to all time low tha ki main shayad kuch kar hi nahi sakti do do bacche the there was too much that was there but i just left i was like ye फर्स्ट कदम तो मैं ले ही लेती हूँ आई टुक दैट फर्स्ट स्टेप आई चेंज सिटीज आई केम टू डेली फर्स्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी वॉज प्रोवाइडिंग बेसिक्स फॉर माई किड्स घर देखना सेटअप करना to get them enrolled in a good school i still remember when i first walked into the school i was so nervous oh my god i'm alone you know big school they will ask me huge donations what will i do what will i tell them all these things i dressed in a sari and i remember when i met the parent partnership facilitator she actually took me around and when she told me i told her a little bit about myself i'm starting out she actually told me it will be a privilege to have you enroll your kids to our school when she told me this i was like wow there is an all new world out there of people who are actually good also i just need to set myself more out and that's when one thing led to another and you know how it is that you know you start meeting people network and and you also meet people who tell you good things about yourself so one thing led to another and one fine day when i was coming back to my yoga practice I got a call from a media house to do a mom post for them on health and wellness and then there was no looking back then they came social media and my life all this was a natural progression to my journey you know it's so incredible to hear your story because i would have never believed that you know people aspire for your life they aspire for your skin they aspire for your looks and you actually at some point in time felt ki ye tumhara sabse you know this is your sabse badi khami and you actually wanted to look like somebody yes. else, uh, which is which is so uh, you know which is so hard which is so disheartening to hear because हम हमेशा सोशल मीडिया पे ऐसे ही देखते हैं कि अरे उसकी जिंदगी कितनी वो कितनी खूबसूरत है वो कुछ भी पहन लेगी शी लुक गॉड शी इज सो ब्यूटीफुल बट दे जस्ट डोंट नो हाउ द पर्सन इज फीलिंग इन साइड राइट विच इज विच इज रियली डिसहार्डनिंग टू हेयर बट टेल मी वेन यू डिसाइड इट के यू नो आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग ऑल माई बैग्स आई हैव टू किड्स यू डेंट नो हाउ लाइफ इज गोन टर्न आउट वॉट मेड यू से दैट दिस इज इट आई नीड टू डू दिस फॉर माई सेल्फ and i need to do this for my children because you know on kids stop us we get so many parents and so many moms especially who are okay to be in a marriage only because one it is financial security for their children it is an emotional and societal security for their children right like you said ke jab school mein ja rahi thi you know i was nervous that you know why would the school want me am i okay will they ask about my partner will they be okay to give me admission if i am separated Did yes. all of these questions come to your mind at any point, Gariba? Initially, yes, Mansi. When I was, uh, you know, because there is def, there is a definite dogma that surrounds also in the society about single parenting, and especially single mothers in India still don't have, uh, you know, they have to undergo a lot of discrimination because they are not the good women. They are the marriage breakers. Uh, so uh, they don't give the credit to a woman that. Uh, something must have definitely gone so extreme in her emotional or physical well-being maybe for her or her kids that she has taken this step uh, or it's always looked uh, as you know usko to uske husband ne chhod diya hoga it's like you know she is not worth it so she she can never take that first step so it's never considered that way so uh, Yes there were a lot of things first as i said that you know i saw myself not able to evolve at all as a person uh, uh, be it postpartum depression uh, be it my miscarriage successively so many things were happening parallelly at the same time i was not enjoying being a mother i was not enjoying living per se and uh, uh, I had no purpose of life. I didn't feel loved. I did not feel giving love to my children or anybody. So it was a very meaningless life and there was a definite void which kept you know I kept questioning myself that you know what is it either uh, you know I could just end my life that's how perhaps people reach a blackout stage and they just give up on their life. so i had to choose between the fact that now that i have got two new lives into this world what do i do with it do i become strong or i just 
keep follow and keep myself in self pity and keep drowning myself you know you cannot blame others to step on you when you are yourself like a worm you te- you give them an opportunity come and step on me but the minute you want to decide something for yourself that's what i did so i had reached that point where i was on the edge uh, as i said it was hour or par definitely with the things that were happening in my personal life tell me um how did you explain this transition to your children how old was your older one when when this actually when you were separated because that's the toughest conversation sare zamane ko aap kuch bhi bata doge your parents are always on your side but the children are the one who and and a lot of lot of parents i know they just stick together in that relationship thinking bachcho pe kya impact hoga it wasn't very easy till date it isn't easy because you know i felt that uh i am not a kind of a person if the parents have differences or whatever is going on a lot of kids are able to see it for themselves you know uh, even if they're not vocal about it but kids are very street smart they see a lot which is happening especially if it is on the forefront you know and uh, uh, you have to take a choice that do you want your kids to see the future like this and culminate into this human that it's okay as a woman to take shit and for your son's part is it okay to be like this and treat the woman this way this is where i was standing in so that's why i chose no kids can't see this so most of it they see uh but um but i did not put anything in their mind no you know the other person is bad or good or this or that never because you know for them the biological father will always be a biological father uh so they always had that connect with my ex husband but um it, and we are still like you know we still talk and things you know it's uh, you become uh, you so indifferent or you reach a stage of oblivion where you don't have anything for or against the person you are just like you know yes you're there as a father of my kids but then you only thing you're left with is just good wishes so um it's very very important for women to just take that first step tell me the time that you came to delhi and you said ki i have to start my life on my own and i think financial independence um gives you a great boost to do that and walk out of a uh, you know of a relationship that's not nurturing you well what did you fall back on how did you start uh, from zero there so that time i uh, just uh, you know like a typical grahani mindset that for me uh, month budgeting is important every month first ko jo mera expenses aayega recurring which is my rent electricity school fee uh, bachcho ka khana peena this was my priority and uh, i started taking odd jobs freelance jobs i was also modeling for brands uh though that's not my forte but you know thankfully i was using my beauty i i was using whatever resources and skill set i had to you know just make my ends meet uh, i even did music videos uh with no background of acting or anything but you know it was just lucrative for me to take up those jobs that time though they were so hard for me to do because you know three days traveling and there were times when you have to uh shoot till 3 am for one music video work 17 18 hours uh but i was doing everything you know i my i am so khuddar i did not take any uh, financial help from my mother because i know she is also by herself uh, i lost my father at a very young early age so my uh, i did not seek any help from my mother uh, uh, yes i had a few network of friends who definitely helped me um, not financially but you know like things like uh, getting me to a broker to get a very nice and safe house where i feel that even if i'm going for work my kids are safe so that kind of a uh, ecosystem so uh, whole day classes on saturday sunday and because other days i would be working uh, i used my savings uh, to take up that course um and uh, i remember since i just said my son was on feed so uh, i used to feel pain in my breast <laughs> because you know they you know they they used to be so much full of feed so i 
I used to think, oh my God, my son is thinking of me and crying for me. Uh, that was the hardest part actually because I had to. Uh, I I still feel so emotional talking about it because I had to leave my son and uh, you know travel. I used to I used to travel from my mom's place, uh, take the overnight train. uh come back at 4 am in delhi have my breakfast go for my class at 8 am leave at 8 pm to the railway station um take the train back and uh, you know my my mom that time was taking care of the kids so that was difficult but then i knew that i was doing whatever i was doing for the kids and uh, it did um reward me <laughs> later and those tears are proof that uh, listen yeah you worked really really hard and and uh, you know you were just such a huge inspiration to so many women out there my kids are a witness to everything they saw that you know on the weekends when they wanted my time i i had to go for my sales because people are only free on the weekends to come and see and uh, you know look around for houses etc so they have been part of this but uh, but they are you know seeing the struggles they are also very understanding there there are time, i have videos where my kids have actually surprised me by collecting their uh, you know whatever little pop money they had and giving me with a letter as a surprise that this is our contribution to you you know it's not like i ever asked them to or it's just coming out of their own understanding that maybe our mother is doing a lot and this is little step that we could contribute from our end so that tells me somewhere that maybe i'm doing the right thing when it comes to also bringing up my kids because they already have seen a lot there are times i have felt uh you know i feel like it's a farce when i have to always be happy in front of them but inside i've also felt emotionally very hollow when i feel that you know uh uh it could have been better everybody feels that way that if if they had a father there's so many times you know i i don't want to do it uh, you know collectively there are 10 subjects of homework that i have to sit with them so sometimes i feel ki agar if there was a father figure he would have taken my son for badminton or given her maths tuition and maths extra classes but it gets so difficult but then uh, kids also know that you know they really help me they come forward so it's like a uh, it's like we are married to each other they understand <laughs> that how to be the spouse and how to be you know 